This one about the apples has a split between has and did at the end. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to start talking about the verb tense. Did produce. This is simple past tense. Something that happened at a fixed time in the past. So did produce in 1910. Has produced. That's what is called the imperfect or the imperfect past. That's something that remained in motion and could be continuing up until the present day. He has been doing this for a while implies he might still be doing it. But this doesn't make sense if we're talking about 1910. Has produced in 1910. That just doesn't make sense. So the has is incorrect and the did is correct. And incidentally, if all this stuff about verb tense really boggles your mind, I'd highly recommend check out Magoosh. Magoosh has a full set of videos that will prepare you, teach you all the content as well as strategy you need for the GMAT. And we have a long section for sentence correction explaining all the grammar you need. So check out Magoosh.com. So back to our sentence, we also have in D, we have a were, so two times as many apples as there were. And this is particularly unclear. All the others are trying to make a comparison between the amount grown on the, on the, the number of apples grown on the same amount of acreage now versus that same amount of acreage in 1910. And D is much more imprecise as there were in 1910, as if you were going to go back to 1910 and count all the apples there were in the world. That's not really the comparison that we want here. So D is incorrect. Get rid of these also. Also, double the apples is a very awkward phrase. Twice as many apples is much clearer. E, we have the awkward phrase doubling of the apples, which is unclear. And then we get to the pronoun it. Now, in the other ones, it clearly refers, as it should, to the same amount of acreage. But when we have doubling of the apples, that it, then it seems like the it should refer to doubling of the apples. And that makes no sense whatsoever. So that's out. And we notice that B is particularly clear. It has the right verb tense. It is sleek and powerful. It is by far the best answer choice.